everybody. I'm here uh, with the prints from the Conjure Tough resin. And this resin, uh, I recently tested the Conjure Sculpt resin, which printed very nicely, but was brittle. Uh, this is their Tough resin, so hopefully it'll be tough. We'll see when we do the break test. Uh, as far as how it prints, it prints pretty well um, for a tough resin. And what I mean is, and for some reason, I don't know if it's because of cosmic balance or maybe it's just chemistry. We'd have to ask uh, Goober Town to see, you know, talk to Brent and see, see what the reason is. But it does seem like for the few years that I've been doing this, any resin that is tough slash flexible, tough, durable, tough, durable, slash durable, uh, the trade-off is it's not quite as detailed in the printing as the more brittle resins. Now, what will of course be the, the perfect storm, one day someone's hopefully gonna be able to concoct a formula that prints with the highest resolution and also is extremely durable. But so far that hasn't really happened in my experience. I've, and I've tested a ton of resins. There is a trade-off between that durability and just how fine a detail can print. Now I have to say, you look at the pictures, um, what I normally look at on her to see how well she printed out, the eyes, the lips, the little pattern on the on her armband. Now in the photos, I think because of the color of the resin, the way I had to light it, you might not even be able to see the pattern there at all. And it did, it did print out. Let me go, let me go full nerd mode here. It did, it did print out, and I can see it decently clearly uh, under the magnifying glass. I'm sorry if it didn't come out in the photos. But it's definitely not as clear as, as like an EPAX hard gray or a, or a Soraya Navy gray. Uh, or if, if on the 8K printer with the 8K resin from Frozen, then you know the clarity there is insane. So, but I can actually see those patterns. They are there. And the prongs on the belt buckles, another thing I look at, again, they are there. I could pick them out painting. They're not super duper clearly delineated, but for a, for a resin, if it if it stands up in the brake test and is really hard to break, then I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it as a good printing tough resin, but I don't know how it's gonna do in the brake test yet. So we'll have to see um, on the on the Troll, uh, you know, everything's picked up. This doesn't have as much fine little detail. There's no like inscribed runes on this one or anything, but there are some very small uh, scars on him. You know, and they are, they are actually pretty small and yeah, they came out again, not as sharp and clear as some of the other resins I've tested. Uh, so, you know, the selling point of this one is going to have to be that durability. So hopefully it lives up to the, lives up to the marketing on that. And, and we're going to find out right now. So the first thing, and anyone who's watched any of my resin tests know when we get to this part where we get into the science of it all, um, when we do the brake tests invariably, and I think it's happened with every single resin, the first thing to go are the hammers because those are separate modular pieces glued in on a ball joint on the wrist. And as I say in all my videos, wherever that, um, and I use the liquid gel, the Loctite gel, wherever that interacts with the plastic when it bonds, it, it somehow makes that brittle and that always shatters. Now I know when I, and in case anyone's gonna suggest it in the comments of people as before, if I was using this mini to paint and uh, you know make sure nothing happened to it, I would actually glue a little bit and I'd put a tiny little drop of resin around the edge and cure the resin to make a stronger bond. But for these tests, I wanna keep everything the same as I've always done. So it's just a drop of glue in each one. So I'm expecting, uh, as we do the brake tests, uh, I'm expecting this to uh, break. If you hear a tiny little bit of piano in the background, my daughter just started playing, but it shouldn't be too loud. Anyway, let's get on, let's get on to the science here. Okay. See, a hammer broke off, and you know what? I think I glued this right before the video. Actually, the glue's not even totally dry, so. Uh, oh yeah, okay, the glue didn't even dry. Okay, so forget that, but nothing broke. Anyway, you, you guys know if you watch any of my other videos, where I always like to test is what happens to our hair, because those sticking up and it's kind of thin. So, let's get some tests going on that. So far, so good. Let's give it a little, uh, a little force. Mm -hmm. 
so far, that hair is holding up. Uh, let's give it a little more force this time. I'm going to break that tip off eventually. Let me just see something. Let me just break off one of these, you know, flames. Just I just want to, since that's not breaking, I want to get a feel for what it takes. Now it's got a little bit of, it's flexing a little bit here. When I'm, for a thick piece, because thick, you know, thin pieces, we're always able to flex when we bend them when the, I mean, for most resins, but this one actually flexed a little bit on, even though that piece was kind of thick and took a decent amount of force to break it. Let me see this. Okay, that didn't take as much, but that's not surprising. Let's try this curved one up here. Yeah, it takes some pretty good force and it's actually bending a little. So maybe that's why our hair is not breaking. Right, let's give it a good shot. Still didn't break. Okay. Time to get to do the high drop test. Now she might not land directly on her hair, but I don't care. This is pretty gonna be a pretty high test. So that went eight foot ceiling down to the, I have a concrete floor down there and it's got a very, very thin layer of super cheap uh, fake wood. I don't know what it's laminate you call it, I guess. So that floor is, is basically like landing on concrete and nothing broke. So that's pretty good. Still nothing. Still nothing. Okay, so let's go back to slamming on the hair. Oh, I think the very, very tip may have broken off. Hold on. I need to actually get closer to see on this one. Yes. So that, that last direct slam did it. So, all right. That, that, that held up pretty well though. Let's break her legs. Okay, that was that was significant force to break that. But this is this definitely definitely more durable than than their sculpt resin, which would broke like like nothing. This one this one is a lot tougher. But I'm gonna break a little bit of that hair off. Okay, that didn't that didn't take too much, but she's been slammed on that hair a bunch of times. So what should I do to test this guy? Uh, you know what? He's bigger and heavier, a lot, a lot bigger and heavier, right? She's she's scale uh, whatever four and a half feet tall, and he's scale like eight feet tall. So uh, I'm thinking he's gonna break a little easier because this extra mass, he's gonna be falling a lot, a lot faster. For those of you who know physics, um, all right. Let's just. Oh, his, his, the only modular part on him is this fist. So again, I'm expecting the glue might not be dry on that either because I glued him the same time I glued her. So it's possible the glue's still wet. So that fist might pop. And he's got a little ponytail. I'm expecting this to break up. He's got a little ponytail. I think that would be a top knot, I guess. He's got a little top knot sticking up and it's spiky. So uh, expect that to break. He's also got two tusks, which are thin and exposed. So expecting something like that to go. Okay, still uh, n nothing broken yet. Let's let's give him the up to the ceiling. Let me see. He has some back hair. Let me just check it. Nope. Still good. Up to the ceiling again. Okay, so as I thought, the fist that was glued on popped off. Didn't actually break, it just 
the glue didn't hold. So he's holding up pretty well. Okay, that time, top knot disappeared. I didn't even, I didn't even see where it went. That's weird, okay, top knot went that time. So. That time, ceiling, table, and then me trying to catch it, and I slapped it down harder to the floor uh, and, and actually broke his leg. So it has done, I'd say it's done pretty well in the brake test, pretty durable. I, it's not the most durable one I've ever tested. I think some things have survived better. Oh, it's so sad to see these nice models all broken. Anyway, um, but I think any, this resin is gonna survive a normal fall off the table. Again, it's gonna defend, depend if your figure's even bigger, heavier than this and has like a tiny little thin part coming off it and lands right on the thin part. I, I'm not sure really any resin that I've tested ever survives something like that. But for a smaller figure, I mean, she survived, you know, four or five foot drops, no problem. And I think even one or two drops down to the floor before she actually broke something. So this, this I think this is actually a viable choice if you need a resin that's tough, and let me check the price on this because I know a lot of times the stronger resins are very expensive. So let me flash the price here so we can see the price. But I do think this is a viable choice if you if you are if you're the type of person not like me. Honestly, I won't use this because I treat my my minis like with kid gloves, and I rarely 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 drop or break them when I'm playing D and D, uh, which is what I use my minis for. So I'm okay with the more brittle uh, resins actually. But I know a lot of people are concerned because they either play with kids or they're clumsy or their friends get mad, throw their figures, whatever it is. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty tough. The name is tough and it is pretty tough. Let's, let's see what it takes on a thicker piece to break Say's arm off. Ah. Okay, you're not, you're not breaking that without significant force. That was, I had a lot of leverage on that before I broke it. So anyway, I think that, that that's the review. I think it prints very acceptable for a, a tough resin. Uh, the detail is actually pretty good. I, like I said, a little hard to photograph because of the color, but the details did print out again. I'm the first to say not quite as clear as on some of my more brittle resins, but for a tough resin, it printed out very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the results and did pretty well in these brake tests. So that's it for the review. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.